table tennis, one of the fastest ball sports on the planet. But surely it can never be fast enough to be fatal. So it all comes down to this. A ping pong ball going 1,100 miles per hour. Go. Versus flesh. Which one's gonna win? We're about to find out. For our lethality test, today's human analog will be played by a pork shoulder, otherwise known as a pork butt, because pork has four shoulders, and two of them are butts. It's true, look it up. Question is, will the world record-breaking ball bounce harmlessly off the butt, or penetrate with lethal force? Had to turn some potential energy into some actual energy. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Short barrel, 300 PSI, lethality test with a pork butt in three, two, one, go. Whoa! <laughs> that was a blast. Literally. <laughs> but how did our poor sign pal fare? All right, let's look at the day. Dude. There's, like, flesh trauma going down an inch and a half into here. That's impressive. I must admit, if you'd asked me beforehand, I would have told you that I thought the ping pong ball was going to bounce right off of the pig. I thought the mass of the two objects were such that the ball really wouldn't do that much damage. I am shocked by how much damage it did. Now, that thing actually penetrated. That's ping pong ball shaped. <laughs> That is a shocker. That would hurt. But I think we still need to call that this is a non-lethal hit. It did not penetrate all the way through the flesh and leave some gaping wound. And barring some lucky hit, that is not a deadly hit. This is a substantial flesh wound, but it ain't lethal. Yep, despite the extreme air pressure and a supersonic ball making the pig fly, the impact did not mortally harm the hound. So final verdict a Mach 1.4 ping pong ball might just be the fastest ping pong ball in history extremely dangerous but not lethal not lethal at all the myth is busted busted it is let's get out of here